incorrect. Laser base. Problem. Welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing my first Halloween tutorial of 2017 and for today's video I wanted to do something a little bit different and I went for a cyborg robotic anime situation here. <laughs> I hope you guys recreate it. It looks very complicated but it literally it is only just lines and darkness everywhere. It was really easy to make, so I hope you guys recreate it. And if you guys do, please don't forget to tag me on my socials. So if you guys want to know how to get this cyborg looking cute girl, just keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to get started. I am so excited to start doing this robot. I've been thinking about it for a couple of days now. So I'm going to be using a very light, light foundation, lighter than my skin tone. This is the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Ivory. To set my face, I'm going to be using the Black Light Black. Oh, that's a that's a tongue twister. Black Light Highlighting Palette by BH Cosmetics, and they have these really cool colors. I don't know if you guys are able to see it, but they have this really cool blue one right here and a white one. So I'm going to be using those two to kind of set the face and start giving it a metallic foiled look all over the face. Now I'm going to go in with the white shade and I'm going to be applying this where I would normally highlight the face. I'm going to be going in with the Morphe Gel Eyeliner. So what I'm going to be doing is creating that, how do you call that, like a character hairline. I've been dying to do this step for a really long time. I've been always wanting to do this. So everything that I do on this side of the head, I'm going to be completely repeating it on the other side. Oh, these headphones have to be part of the look. They look so dope. So now you guys can take any black eyeshadow and then kind of tap it over the black so it won't be smudging. And then with the black eyeshadow, I'm going to go in into my hairline now. I went ahead and did this side of my face, well only the eye part, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I did the eyebrow and the eyeliner. I'm going to be using the same gel eyeliner and a little angled brush and I'm going to start carving out the eyebrow. So I kind of went and followed my natural eyebrow but just extended it outwards. Taking a little pencil brush and I'm going to start doing hair strokes. And for my eyeliner, I'm just going to be doing a regular, very elongated eye wing. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply all the little details on the face. I want to go in with my eyelashes at the end because I'm going to be applying the LED strips on my eyes. So I wanted to do that at the end, but right now we're going to start decorating and designing the face. And for this, you guys can just follow along and do what I'm doing. I'm just making things up from the top of my head. So I can't really explain what I'm doing, but I'm just going to be creating shapes and lines. That's basically it.
So now we're gonna start shading in with some blue shades and I'm gonna be going in with this dark blue one and maybe a little bit of this one to start kind of creating some dimension instead of looking at it completely flat. So what I'm gonna start doing is just basically outlining everything that I did with this blue. I'm just not going to be touching the edges of every design that we just did. Do you guys see how that immediately creates a dimension in between the black and all the lines that we just created? I'm going to go in now and make the little bolts. I'm going to be taking that dark blue and then just making little dots. Okay guys, so I went ahead and applied my eyelashes on and now I'm going to be putting these little lights on my eyeballs. I'm a little bit scared. I've never used this before, obviously, but I thought today was like the perfect time to finally use this little thing. So they sent me a bunch of colors and I will leave the link to them down in the description box if you guys want to go check them out. It doesn't come with any instructions at all. I don't know, but I don't think it should be hard to use this at all. So normally when you apply these, you apply them right on your lash band, but I feel like I want to apply them right on the lid. So when you open the eyes or close them, you'll be able to see them all the time. All right guys, and that was it for today's video. I didn't end up applying the other little LED on this side because they are so hard to put on. So I ended up adding it on the cheek. So if you guys end up purchasing these and you don't want to use them on your eye, you can put them all over. I ended up actually putting one right here too, but it's only on the intro because they're just very uncomfortable. <laughs> I wanted to create something that was going to stand out, but at the same time, it was going to be easy for you guys to recreate because last year I ended up doing the skull machine and that was so much work. And this is a little bit more like easy you could say. <laughs> so I really hope to see you guys recreate these looks. Please don't forget to tag me on my socials if you guys do because I would love to see your work. I hope you guys have a happy Halloween and please, please, please be safe and check your candy. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it. If you want to be more in contact with me, you can follow me on my social media. I have Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I will leave those down in the description box for you. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye guys!